Today we're going to be looking at how to actually create your funnels with inside Kajabi and how you actually build out your funnel blueprint so you can actually position your offers in front of your clients and call them to action. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program, Zero to Kajabi Hero, to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I want to offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access simply head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are back in my partner's account and in this video, we're gonna walk and talk you through how to set up funnels. So if you can remember under the website, if you click on pages, there's three separate entities. So there's website pages, which are your system pages, which we built out in some of the earlier videos, the landing pages, which are basically your opt-in pages or your sales pages. Then you have funnel pages. Now we haven't built out any funnels from here. You can either start new funnels from here or you can go under marketing and then you can just click funnels. So we're gonna create our first funnel here and I'm gonna show you how to actually um, set it up and what to look out for. So we're just gonna click get started. So Kajabi do a good job of offering you some um, bespoke funnels. You can actually have a look and see what is entailed. So this is a freebie funnel. Show me how you can actually see, you can play this video uh, and it's actually a, a how-to uh, or, or an overview of what this funnel is. And then it's just simply opt-in, then one email and then a thank you page. The sales page one is just gonna be an opt-in, eight emails, a sales page and then a checkout. And then product launch, it's gonna be an opt-in, 10 emails, a value one, value two, value three, and a checkout. So it's more like a product launch formula, like a sideways sales letter. So you can go down these and have a look at the which one you wanna build out. And then you can click on legacy funnels. So you can have a look just to see what other legacy funnels you wanted to use. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna uh, create a, a sales page. So this is uh, also known as OVO. So it's the opt-in, the value add, and then the offer. So it's the opt-in eight emails, sales page and checkout. So what I'm gonna do is simply click, you can either click create funnel from here or you can just click get started. So name your funnel, I'm just gonna call it OVO because that's what it is. And then you need to select an offer because your funnel needs to line up with a certain offer that you're delivering. So I'm gonna go for our French course, create a funnel. So by one click, Kajabi is going to be building in your funnel components. So if you've got an event, if you've got emails, it will create this blueprint for you. So the more elaborate the funnel, the, the more you will have in your blueprint. And then all you need to do here is then go through and edit this blueprint. It's really, really simple to do. You can go into each page and then you can actually just, just like a landing page, you can just edit this page. So this is your opt-in page. So you'd probably put, describe the value of what they're opting in for, the opt-in message here. Um, let's just go with French course. If I just put that in here, it will know that I've just edited this and then click save. Then I'm gonna go to the email sequence. So once I've done that, I just click on the left hand and this gives me an OVO email sequence. So it's gonna be adding a subscription trigger here. So if anyone opts into the OVO form, it will just add them to this sequence. So then you can build out this sequence. So we've done that before. Then the sales page. Now this is gonna be a very basic sales page. 
but it recommends you put the offer title here. So French course. I'm just editing this so it knows I've been in here. And then you basically build out like the benefits, the call to action, and then you can go straight through to the actual checkout. So this is the French Vocab Mastery checkout that we've previously created. Click save there. And then if you come back out to your funnel overview, it's got the customized bit, it's got little check marks down here. So now we can share this funnel. If you wanted to share this funnel with your audience, just click on this. This is the coolest part of funnels. Copy this funnel link. And then if I was to go to a new incognito window, paste out that funnel link, you can actually see this is the opt-in form for the French course. So that's great because actually you can move around within your funnel, you can move around certain areas. So if I wanted the sales page to actually, if I go, uh, let's go reorder. And then if I wanted to put like the, if I had a sales page first, I could actually move the, move the opt-in down here um, and have the sales page at the front. So if I was to then share that same funnel link, they'd hit the sales page first. Not a good idea, because you want the opt-in to be first and then the checkout page to be last. But you can see that you can actually manage your funnel as you go, and then people can just use that funnel link. So you can either edit this within this funnel stack, and then you can have a look at the view the stats so you can actually see people opting in, people hitting the sales page, and then actually people are purchasing. So you can actually see some good, um, good progression through here. And if you didn't want to edit it in this format, you can actually go to website. Now we've created a funnel, click pages, and then click funnels. And then there it is, you can click into here. And then this is your funnel stack. So the sales page and then the opt in. The offer is obviously where you keep your offers. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you can now play around with building out your own funnels. And so you can actually do things just on one click. So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.